Now August dad mm. does he still shit his pants? <laughs> never stopped. Never stopped. Can't stop. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He wears he wears the pins. Is that why it's so stinky at work? Yes, wow. that's, that's why. <laughs> he, he blames <laughs> that's it on the duck only letter. reason. Yeah, but but it's not really told duck letter. It's just poop. Ooh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Wherever you're streaming this from, we're hoping you are all having a wonderful, beautiful, semi-decent day. We have yeah. today. And this the is how violence God. starts. <laughs> I is- was just cheering you <laughs> yeah. on. I was just cheering you on. No, 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 no. Please, it's silence. What the fuck, man? Oh, okay. We Sorry. talked about. Th- <laughs> we talked. We talked about this. Do I have to bring you to court? Yeah. Ooh. No, we're not doing that. Oh, okay. uh, today we have, uh, you know, are you? Sh- Why did I go looking over there for some reason? We, oh yeah, we have, usual. Um, Mr. Butts. <laughs> Mr. Butts, stinky butts. Stinky butts. Uh, but the usual Caleb and our amazing camera person. Nuts. Nuts. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, nuts. And then, guys, guys. Guys, we have a we have a we have a special guest today. I wonder who it is. We do. Who is it? We do. We do. Guys, guys, guys. It's I... August, Dad. August, Dad. Woo! What? Where? <laughs> he's, he's taking he's... the form of a sheep. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Do you not see the sheep? He's oh my god! Really... There he is. It's looking right Back, at you, guys. Appreciate you guys having me on the uh, the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's a, yeah, yeah. It is a uh, yep. an honor to be here. Yeah, we're all smoking wait, weed. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Oh man, the Snoots cast. Duh, oh come Snoot on, you guys cast. tricked me, didn't you? Oh, the sheep might no. die. Oh, you, oh, uh, oh, oh, um, um, oh, um, yeah. oh my god, yes. that that puppy is angry. No, that puppy is. <laughs> you have you have a friend. <laughs> you have a new friend. He has a friend in the boat with you. He really fucking hates you. Oh my god. Or maybe fool. he just has hard eyes. Maybe that's why they're red. Yeah. Ooh, it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day today. Yeah. Like I'm getting it on with a pig. That's happened before, maybe. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, yes. Oh god. Usual Valentine's activities. Yeah. yeah. As hey, but, we, um, all, we all have, have make mistakes. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah, I mean, what? True. I'm not proud, but it happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know so, that. Oh, stick right yeah, there. I'm proud. Yes. Fine. Are you sure? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's kill. He's just. Well, well, I'm gonna leave him. If he, if August Dad's sheep dies, then that'd be kind of funny. So. I don't know. It's over there behind me. I can't even tell. Are you looking um, over there? Oh. <laughs> it's it's stink butts. Oh yeah, it's stink that's butts. stinky butts. Yep, that's the, butts. that's the pig. Yep. What about the pig oh, in the background? Not, that is the... Yeah, that's, that's stinky butts. Yep. Stinky oh, butts. Yeah, one, the pig behind me is getting a little close there. <laughs> so at least buy me some flowers, you know, maybe you know, take me out <laughs> on a date first. And Oh, he means in the boat. Right. He means in the yeah. boat. That's, oh, that's the, a dog. The little wolf. There's there's a wolf a in your... Oh. You know what? It's a pug. That is a pug. <laughs> Yep, it's a Playing nice it. pug. It's, a nice, it's not it's harmless. It doesn't have <laughs> blood lust in the eyes. Okay. No, tell him no. I'm a sheep in a wolf in sheep's clothing. It, yes. Wow, this, this yeah, ne- exactly. it's never made more sense until now. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> but yes, wow. um after uh many of YouTube comments, um we decided it was finally time for my dad to come on to the episode uh the podcast. Definitely not the yes. last time. Yeah. Yeah. Our first, first, our first guest. guest. Damn. Oh, took the words out of my mouth. Oh. Bro. I'm honored. Bro. I'll get Bro. you a special Bro. plaque that says Bro. Uh, first guest. <laughs> Bro. 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 I'm number Bro. one. Bro. Bro. You know, I was going to say that. And he just like, <laughs> it just like, it's just like, <laughs> He stole his thunder. Oh no. Oh, oh no. welcome. Whoa. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> what the uh, heck? Yeah, there's Noah's replacement. There oh. we go. Looks hey guys, pretty good. It's me. 
Um, <laughs> oh, Steve. Sheepa. No. Another sheep? Oh. Yeah, it's me, Sheepa. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's me. And you're probably. Oh, okay, see well, see you later. <laughs> Oh, wow, what a nice appearance. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys try to replace me already? No, never. No. Oh, yes. thank God. <laughs> My dad was the one that tried to replace you. So that's okay. He's a little, he's a little sideways right now. Um, he, <clears throat> You know what? There's some really cool stuff behind you, Caleb. It's really interesting. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Man, who so did that? behind me. <laughs> Uh, Man, I, uh, I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Guys, oh, he's guys, floating. Guys, it was floating guys, in the air. Guys, 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 guys. Oh my god. Face plant. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, no anyway, good? brain damage. Oh. Uh that that happened like twenty two years ago, I think. Damn. <laughs> Back in nineteen fifty eight. Oh, oh well wow. started. <laughs> Yeah, flashback sequence to Vietnam happens. Vietnam flashbacks, yeah. but in 1958. <laughs> so what? The Cold War. <clears throat> the Cold War happened in 1958, or was that in the 60s? I don't remember. Cold War was basically uh, the uh, era between the end of World War II and yeah, about whenever the Soviet uh, Union fell. What in the early 90s, and. Uh, because it was the, the Cold War. We never had a hot war with uh, the Soviet Union. Um, it was too but cold. But we had the constant threat of, of nuclear annihilation. Us yeah. Gen Xers got to learn all about it. Wow. Now yeah. that's a fun fact for the day, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> Words right out of my mouth. I was definitely going to talk about how the Cold War ended because of uh, America bringing in a uh, thermostat. That's right. That see, there we go. Yeah, nothing a propane torch won't fix. I know. Yeah, exactly. Um, but um, you know what? I feel like we should do, Caleb. What? You know what I think we should do, Caleb? I don't know. I'm Caleb, concerned. You know, Caleb. You do you know what? I think we should do. No, I'm not sure. That's right. Oh, I was supposed to stand up. <laughs> That's right. Ask embarrassing questions about August to August dad. <gasps> oh my god. <clears throat> embarrassing questions about August? Yes. Oh god. Wow. Yeah. No August dad mm. does he still shit his pants. <laughs> never stopped. <laughs> never stopped. Can't yeah. stop. I knew, stop. Never I, stopped knew shitting. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. He wears, knew he wears the pins. Is that why it's so stinky at work? Wow. Yes, that's, that's why. <laughs> he, he blames that's it on the duck only butter. Reason. Caleb, I it's not really duck you butter, this. it's just poop. I knew it. Mm. Caleb, I literally looked at you in the eyes oh, when August decided just, just to leave us that one day because, you know, he never stays. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, dude, this man stinks like shit. And <laughs> his ass is like a pudding pop. <laughs> Next time I see you at work, I'm going to shit my pants right in front of you and blame it on you. <laughs> Oh my god, he really got you there, Noah. <laughs> How? Yeah, really got me. He's going to shit his own pants. His own pants. I tell show you. everybody. Yeah, I'll show everybody you. At work that he, you. I shit my, my own pants. pants when the I'll shit show will you, be Noah. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how you show dominance. You shit your pants. And yeah. just <laughs> you show dominance by shitting in somebody else's pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what you should do. Okay, I'll shit in your pants, Noah. There you go. Oh god. There you I'm go. here to inspire change. <laughs> there you go. Oh, See? God. Uh no, but for real. Um what is like August Dad? What's like the most embarrassing story you could tell oh, god. us mm. of August? Because I kinda wanna know. There's a All lot. Right. <laughs> I'll I'll pick one there that's uh that's pretty funny that I, it, it lasts to this day very well, I think, and August hates. So August, uh, for some reason, has this thing where, where bugs like to fly into windows and, and hit him. Uh -huh. <laughs> but this isn't that story. <laughs> That's no. Sorry. No. So, you know, when he was a little kid, we'd ride around. I had this big old Dodge pickup. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you give, you give five. 
you know, put your hand yeah. up. I don't know how how old do you think you were, August? Like it wasn't when you 12? had the it wasn't when you had the Dodge. It was when you got your first Volkswagen. Oh, was it okay? So you were probably like fifteen then. Man, yeah. that makes it even better. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> you weren't even a little kid. I was in high school. I know that for. <laughs> oh a fact. wow, that makes it even worse. So. <laughs> yeah. but anyway, we're driving along, and, <laughs> and you know, I, I would put my hand up, and it, he was driving with me. I think we were going to breakfast one morning to the Blackwater, and I put my hand up between the two of us, like to give me a high five. And so he reached across and gave me a high five, and I did that a couple of times, and I kept moving it a little closer to him. And a little closer to him and he kept hitting it and i think at that point you know you just get so used to it you think it's like a challenge like i'm going to move my hand <clears throat> so i put it right in front of his face he went to high five me and i moved it and he smacked himself right in the face real real hard <laughs> it was freaking hilarious yeah. oh my god damn I, I, mean, I mean there was like no hesitation that hand just went in yeah, I, I full on smacked myself in the face, and, uh, and I laughed I like you wouldn't believe. I don't think I've ever seen his face get any redder before in in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so oh, hilarious! Like, I didn't believe it worked. <laughs> that was my whole goal the whole time. It was premeditated. I started in the middle. I'm like, I'm going to get him to smack himself in the face. You watch this, and he did. <clears throat> nice. that, that's what happens when you trust your father. Dude, so, Dude you yeah. fucking wrecked. <laughs> Dude, you got <laughs> absolutely owned by yourself, man. That's the best part. I didn't do anything, really. <laughs> you just got me in the habit of a high five. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just going to be a high five. <laughs> Whoop. And then I smacked myself in the face. And I remember just staring yeah. straight ahead of me without uh, any thought in my mind and just contemplating why I just did that. <laughs> wow. I couldn't stop laughing. For August, I'm cool. damn, damn, dude. Yeah, so that's that's a, you know it's uh, it's a fun one right there. It, that's a good one. It is. <clears throat> so we'll we'll go with that one for now. We can do a bug one another time. <laughs> yeah, you, we'll definitely. You can tell as many as you want. I have no problem because I can't get more <laughs> embarrassed than I already am. <laughs> See, uh, I've I've uh, ba- I've have inoculated him against embarrassment by doing all this. I know. Preemptively calloused him. True. See? I'm not a bad dad, after all. <laughs> True. I've been prepped for my entire life growing up. That's right. Mm-hmm. How prepped are you? From Mentally or both? physically? I guess we can take a stab at both. Yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll let you uh, determine the numbers for that answer. Caleb, that, that that's good, right? Yeah, that's pretty pretty good. Pretty I mean, good. I have a much worse one, but I, I promised August I wouldn't talk about it. Yeah, there was oh, one. Man. There was one specifically that I said not oh. to uh, discuss because oh. we have coworkers that work with us and that listen to this, and they they don't need to know that that one about me just yet. That'll be for. Oh. Uh, it's one oh. of those that it's taken many years for it to be funny. God damn it. Quote unquote funny. It's just really, it's super embarrassing for me. (laughs) Which makes it funny for me. Oh, God. Now I really want to know it because uh, you can't edge me like that. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah, I'm being edged. But I can. But I can. And I did. Damn it. August, why did you give him that rule? I think it was the one rule that he he asked if there's any (laughs) rules, and I said, that's the one rule. (laughs) Well, there was another rule, too. Oh yeah, there was one. It didn't more. have anything to do with embarrassing stories. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's to keep the podcast alive, so you know we don't get canceled. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. But what? um, Caleb, you have a question? Um. Oh no. Do you remember like the first thing August did as like a baby? He like, the way me. he moved around. He pissed on me. <laughs> Probably why I had him smack himself in the face later. Yeah. <laughs> Payback for years pissing later. on you. Yeah. For pissing on me, motherfucker. <laughs> like right after he did that, you go up to him and you whisper, That's that's for pissing on me. That's, right. that's what you get. That's what you fucking that's right. get. When he pissed on me, I, he's a little baby, I whispered in his ear, You just wait fifteen years. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait for it coming. <laughs> Had a vendetta out for me my entire life so far. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, when he was a little baby, I remember changing his diaper. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. thought he was a girl at first. But uh, no, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like, I, I, were they sure he's a boy? I mean, it says that on his birth certificate, but, you know, I don't know. Something missing. Anyway, is that his umbilical cord? Damn. No, it's not. No, no, it's his is umbilical this? cord. No, and then he just, you know, let her rip and pissed all over me. Oh, exciting. And, and so, you know, I've had to piss on him. <laughs> figuratively oh speaking. <laughs> Thank God it was yeah. figuratively. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember being pissed on, thankfully. <laughs> well, it looks not like yet. the... Uh, yeah. What? <clears throat> Looks like the Not chloroform yet. worked. Oh God! When he gets older. Yeah, when That's he gets older. You could, thank you, thank you. That's right. Yeah. Gonna, you're gonna change my depends, and I'm gonna whip it out and kiss <laughs> right in your face. Exactly. <laughs> Just you wait until the wheelchair. Yeah, That's he'll right. like shit himself and be like, "Oopsies, <laughs> August." I've already told him like, that when he's in clean. when he's in a wheelchair, I'm finding a stairwell and I'm just pushing him down it. <laughs> oh my God! I fully, I fully expect him to do that too. Be like, prank got you, bro. <laughs> oh, what? You can't get up? Dude, it's just a joke. Just get up, man. Oh, what? You broke your bone? Oh, oh you you broke that's too bad. Oh, you shattered all your bones? Oh, what? You some weak little guy, huh? <laughs> oh, you cool <laughs> old too. Get up? <laughs> yep. There'll be shit running down his back after the fall, yeah. and it'll just be sitting there. I'll play with yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> God. Hmm. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, well, I'll be old and decrepit. They'll expect it. <laughs> yeah. And I'll extend my hand. August, help me up. And I'll be covered in poop. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just rip ass in your face like you did to me when I was younger. Yeah. Oh God. Wait, that what? Was so much fun. Well, when he's a little kid, and he got to be about the height of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd walk near him and I'd have a good old fart just brewing in there. And I'd walk up to him, grab the back of his head and shove it in my ass and I'd oh fart off. Damn, August. Get, get oh fucking my God. wrecked. <laughs> get fucking wrecked. You just... Damn, get man. Get sharded on. Get oh, shitted yeah. on. Oh, but get, I know what's coming get, when I, you know, when it's my Get shitted on. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, he's grittying. He's grittying. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Did the wit- uh, witty. Yeah. Hell yeah. No. Yep. So, I, remember, beef stews. I remember some good old memories from growing up. I also remember uh, back when we had the Greyhounds, uh, I think it, you had brought lobster home for like one of the first times and you placed them on the floor in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I don't really remember what happened after that, but I just remember you placing lobsters on the kitchen and I don't think Harley <laughs> was a big fan of them. Yeah, the dogs were like, what the hell's going on in here? Because the lobsters are crawling around everywhere. And the dogs are like, what the fuck are these little things going on down here? <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty funny. Now, do you remember when you were a little kid? You were probably like three, four years old. We lived at the house in Winstead. Yeah. And you you and uh, Harley, of course, were, were got along so well. Oh, you know, God. Like brother, oh, my God. Like the, you guys don't understand that like, it was like sibling rivalry between these two. I'd never seen this Damn. happen with a dog and a kid. Uh, so I, here, here's my advice before I tell you that story is, when you decide to get married someday, unless you're going to marry a guy, because then you're probably not going to be able to make a kid with him, um, mm. <clears throat> unless he has a uterus. But um, mm. anyway, if you do marry a woman and you decide to have children, yes, have them first, then get the dog. Okay? Because you do I'm it the first. other way around. If the dog's like your pal, when yeah. the kid comes along, nope, it's not that sweet, awesome little commercial-like thing. Like, oh, the dog's going to love him. Nope, my dog hated him. <laughs> they were they were like worst worst friends. They were like brother and sister. <clears throat> yeah, you know, and uh, of course, you know, August's older brother at the time was a a ninety pound greyhound. So the, the, the mm. greyhound won a lot. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah. so we were coming. I was coming home from work, and at the house there, we had this an entryway like a foyer there. <clears throat> come in the door, and the dogs come running to greet me, and I'm like, all right, doggies. And they're standing there wagging their tails, and then here comes August behind the dogs. It's like Mm -hmm. three, four years old, maybe. He's walking up, and he goes to the right side of of Harley, uh, which was the one of the greyhounds that he had the rivalry with. So he's walking up, and he's like got his hands out, like he's excited to see Dad. And as soon as he got right to Harley's butt, Harley leaned over and trapped him against the wall with his butt Mm because Harley's butt was about the same height as August's chest at the time. 
And so the dog knew he was coming and he kind of looked over. He scooted his butt over and he went and he leaned right on him, right into the wall. And there was August trapped. His arms were out and he's crying. <laughs> and I felt bad for him, but it was funny too. And then I yelled at Harley, which I didn't really mean because Harley was a good dog. Mm. I just happened to be there. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, now here's, you know. the, now here's the real question Who was better, the dog or August? Mm. Mm. Well, at what? <laughs> No, just like <laughs> who'd you who'd you like better, the dog or August? <laughs> well, there's a question I never thought anybody would ever ask. Like, uh, <laughs> I figured everybody knows it's the dog, but anyway, yeah, uh, no, I thought okay. so. <laughs> I knew yeah. that answer was coming. <laughs> you ain't first, no. you last. <laughs> Come on, August is my blood. Blood's always first, but I do miss my dog. But of course, yeah. August is still here, so I don't miss him. <laughs> yeah, you can't miss August. He's here every day. That's true. But Harley, Harley was a good dog. He was my pal. Mm. And, uh, it just, you know, he was uh, he was there before August, and uh, Harley and I did everything together, and hung out together, and so he was like my kid. And uh, if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever seen greyhounds, but they're very, uh, their faces are very uh, expressive. It's kind of yeah. weird. Mm. They smile mm. and stuff like you can kind of tell that they're happy or unhappy. Mm. either that or i was just one of those crazy dog owners that thinks they can but he, <laughs> the dog was never quite the same after august came home from the hospital i could you not he was yeah. not because he knew he was going to be second banana because of course you know august is my species what so and he came one? from my loins so i have to take care of him you know i shot him out of my left nut or my right <laughs> i don't know which oh, one oh god <laughs> or one of them one or the other he was the fastest swimmer so he won the race I gave I gave him a you know first place medal, mm-hmm. which only, is called life. It's the only race I've ever yeah. won. It's the only one, but he's number one. <laughs> yeah, Bingo. you always know that you yeah. were the best at something, August. Yeah, you were the best at that race. True, that's true. But you know, just after that, well, you know, yeah. But anyway, yeah. So the dog <laughs> was really important to me, but of course, <laughs> August is more important. <clears throat> so mm. there you go. There's your tender moment. Yeah, how dare you, August? What the fuck, man? Hey, that that dog did not like me. I, I'll tell you that for a fact. I, I... No, <laughs> and that was kind of sad. Now you know, you know. Here's the funny thing, and not not getting all weird and serious about stuff, but my sister and I never got along very well growing up. And it was kind of funny at that moment when I would see how the dog in August, which I know it's a dog, uh, dog how they really me. didn't get along and how they had this rivalry. Uh, I finally understood kind of what my dad felt like because my sister and I never got along as children, mm. and even as grown-ups. I mean, we were horribly uh, mean to each other terrible yeah. and, yeah, and uh, my dad was always very very disappointed uh that uh, that we never got along or could get past our differences of course so yeah. at that moment i was like hmm, wow i know what dad feels like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it happens you live you so, learn you live so anyway you breathe yep. Damn. so those are a couple of funny stories but harley harley was a good dog if you ever greyhounds are i think the best dogs out there myself yeah. Other dog, Greyhound, I got to mention her just because she's second banana, but uh, she was super. Uh, Saki was a very nice dog mm-hmm. and very happy dog, and uh, but played a very good uh, uh, submissive because, you know, you got the pack, and, and she was a perfect submissive in the dog pack and got along with everybody. So, yep. she, mm-hmm. was a, she was a cool dog. That's a cool banana. <laughs> anyway, so there's, there's a, another fun, embarrassing story for all oh of trapped <laughs> by a dog butt. Nice. When he was a kid. After that story, the dog in the like the back just grew up to big, big dog. Oh, big dog! Ooh. Although from my perspective, it just looks like the the sheep has it's something. Like pen- looks like the sheep is penetrating. <laughs> uh, has something penetrating its ass? Ooh. Oh god! Yeah, it looks doing it sheep style. <laughs> oh, you doing it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I got a poop. Oh, oh. Well, something's coming out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just. Yep. No. Uh, I don't. Re- I don't. Re- I don't. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember that myself. I think I was too young to remember that. Yeah. Probably. You were terrorized though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for me, it was again. It was funny. But uh, you know, I'm a horrible dad like that because I find these moments humorous rather than. Upsetting. I remember. I remember throwing up all over the couch one night. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you oh did that a couple of times. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, oh, good. Good story. Not having anything to do with you, August, but with Saki. Oh my God. Oh, I know. You guys, I know where this one's oh, going. <laughs> holy shit. Okay, so this is like the 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 worst mm. uh, 
experience ever uh, okay. with a dog. <clears throat> so Saki oh was a wonderful dog. Uh, mm -hmm. and it, but for some reason, the greyhounds like to eat, uh, eat poop. <laughs> their own or, oh. or cat poop. They didn't care. They weren't discriminating. Yeah. Um, so, so one night, you know, we, and this, mind you, we, so we have, uh, at the time we had five cats, okay, mm -hmm. at the house. They're all indoor cats, and we had two or three litter boxes. So August's mom kept them pretty clean. Um, you, you know, because five cats, that's a lot of poop buildup in a day. Yeah. But anyway, so we yeah. had a five gallon bucket there next to the, uh, this, <clears throat> and she would, you know, empty it out, and then weekly she'd take the bag out of that, and we'd, we'd just dispose of it all. So anyway, this was like day six, you know, or getting to day seven. The next day would have been the empty the five gallon bucket day. Oh. And, uh, you know, so, so it was chock full of goodies and they look like those kind of, those DeRocher candies, you know, with like the nuts on the outside, how the, just all the kitty litter mm -hmm. <laughs> with a nice, you know, Tootsie roll inside there. I, I'm yeah. imagining that's what Saki was thinking when she looked in there. Yeah. Ooh, chocolates. Uh, so yes. anyway, so, you know, it's like two in the morning, I'm sleeping. I'm like, ah, oh, this is great. I'm sleeping. Next thing you know, I hear. Bah. Okay. So I'm making, you know, like throw up sounds now. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I turn on the light there and I look and there's, there's Saki and she's convulsing. I mean, I've never seen a dog convulse so bad in my life. And mm -hmm. next thing you oh. know, this entire pool of vomit comes out and oh. it is ginormous and it's full of DeRocher candies. Because oh what she had God. done was ate the entire five-gallon bucket of cat poop and then oh, threw it up on the God. floor. And it was the worst smell I have ever smelled in my entire life. I oh. kid you not. The worst. I mean, like, I was not next to it, and the whole room had this horrid stench. And, of course, I had to clean it up because of my dog. Mm -hmm. And I about threw up myself several times because it'd be like bloop, bloop. Yeah. <laughs> anyway so you know make sure if you have cats and a dog another little life lesson okay keep the cat litter away from the dogs because they'll eat it and then they'll throw up in your yeah. bedroom in the middle of the night and you'll be very un not not pleased about that like i wasn't mm. you know i was very unhappy about that so there you go yeah. not an august story but you know a horrible stinky smelly awful dog story mm. that's yummy <laughs> sounds so good Yum. Yeah, my oh, dogs man. have done that too. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I don't know what it is about that. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. dogs and yeah. their poop. Yeah, <laughs> they, they they gotta love it. Apparently, yep. <clears throat> I know the, um, the, the one thing I remember. I think it was with Harley from when we the first house in Winstead. Because if I remember, like your guys' original bedroom was pretty big. Yep. Um, and it was because at the time it was able to fit my bed. Or at least, like, I remember one point in time, like, my bed being in your guys' bedroom as well. I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember I was asleep and I woke up because I had to use the restroom. And Harley, ironically enough, was laying on the bed. But he was laying on my legs. And, you know, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, like 50, 60 pound kid. And I've got this 90, 100 pound dog laying on my legs where I can't move. And I was, a, I think I was able to like scooch like one leg out, but I was so tired mm. by that point in time and too young to have the strength to do anything. Uh, I just ended up hanging off the edge of the bed with one leg up on the bed and the rest of my body on the floor. <laughs> and I just passed back out and woke up in the morning on the floor. <laughs> I never made it to the mm. restroom. I just fell back asleep. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh yeah, you guys with uh, between August and and Harley. When we in this house, we moved up here. You know, August was like five years old, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> Harley had a a dog bed, and it was next to our bed. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember one morning waking up, and there's August. He kicked the dog out of his dog bed, <laughs> and August was sleeping in the dog bed next to him. <laughs> I just why? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Damn, August, I saw that. He's like laying there with a blanket on him, and I'm just I'm sitting there going, "Holy shit, what's going on here? <laughs> like, can these two ever not like fight over something?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm guilty yeah. for that. <laughs> the jealousy was real. <laughs> yep. Yeah, wow. Yes. So wow. confirmed, furry. <laughs> What? I didn't say confirmed for I, 
I knew, I knew it. it. We got we got him. We got him. We got him, we got him boys. We got him. I knew it. Damn. Oh we got him. We won. Oh boy. Um wow. Damn, August. You're so you're such a little shit when you were a kid. <laughs> I didn't think I was that bad of a kid. <laughs> oh, that was just funny. I, I again, I got I, I was amused by it all between the two of them. Because I was like, I can't mm. believe I have a dog and a kid, and they have sibling rivalry. What? How does this happen? I don't, <laughs> know. I don't know. You know, you grow up, and you think, oh, I'm gonna have a dog, and he's gonna love the little baby. He's gonna come be the protector. You know, how you like in a movie or a TV show, the dog like protects the kid. And I'm thinking, this dog would push him down the stairs in a wheelchair. <clears throat> <laughs> You're welcome. <Damn. laughs> definitely, he'd throw you under the bus in a second. Oh yeah, he definitely would have. <laughs> so, oh yeah. No, those two were were too funny. <clears throat> I bet. Now, how would you describe August as a kid? Because now I want to know. Like, was he like too rambunctious? Did you want to throw him down some stairs? <laughs> um, no, August uh, honestly was pretty trouble free. I mean, he had his moments, like the the thing we can't talk about. Um, thank god <laughs> god damn it i never oh my maybe god. that'll be a in, maybe that'll be a in, in, in person, person. Yeah, yeah i love teasing that, that. Has. But, uh no honestly uh you know everybody oh my kid's perfect and all that stuff i mean august was a, a pretty good kid i mean i think uh the way uh august mom and i you know tried raised him and, and tried to give him limits because it was hard because he's an only child too and uh, i didn't want him to turn out uh like a spoiled brat because uh-huh. you know, that often happens with the only child. I had a I had a cousin. Hopefully, she never listens to this. But <laughs> <laughs> probably won't. But um, you know, and as kids, um, she was she was a brat, and you know, she didn't get her way. She was very unpleasant to be around. And but she was an only child, and everybody mm-hmm. doted on her. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, we had one kid that uh, talked with August's mom and said, you know, we're gonna have to work extra hard for him not to have that only child mentality. And so there were a lot of things, honestly, and, you know, you don't tell your kids these things at the time that you just deny because you have to tell them no, because they can't have everything, even though you could have given them everything uh, so that they don't expect it. Because if they had a sibling, they wouldn't get everything, you know, they'd have to, you'd have resources, so to speak, with the other kid or children. So there'd be limits. So, uh, you know, we had to do that with him, which made it harder and I don't mean difficult. It wasn't hard, but you know, you hate telling your kid no. And for the most part, I was a pretty good kid. You want to do things and be nice and all that stuff. Uh, but a lot mm. of times August, he just got told no, because it was no, because you, you got to deny people stuff. You know, the kids, they got to learn that they don't get everything, you know? So, mm. uh, and he was pretty good about it. Uh, you know, I think one of the things early on and, and August can say whether this made any sense to him or not, I, you know, my biggest thing with him was presenting him with uh, the, the concept of consequences. You know, yeah. told him that, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, you have choices and you have free will. Mm. I mean, even as a little kid, I told him, I said, and you can make decisions on your own. I said, mm. but you also have to take responsibility for those decisions. So decisions have consequences. They can have mm. good ones and they can have bad ones and they can have neutral ones. But so if you decide to do something, and you think about it, you go, oh, this is probably going to get me in trouble when I punish you or get mad. Don't look at me as the guy who, uh, you know, is, is, the, is the problem. It's mm-hmm. you who made your own decision, decided to make your own bad choice. Because I, I put out the rules pretty clearly as to where limits were as he grew up, you know. And those mm-hmm. expanded as he got older so that he could have more room to, to grow. But, <clears throat> you know, but that's, I thought, was pretty fair way to do it. And he was honestly pretty good or he hid stuff pretty well like we all did probably some stuff you yeah. know i mean i fully expect that i mean i'm not a fool i did the same thing with my folks i mean there's so much stuff they had no idea of the trouble i got into that i never got caught doing thank god but we were, we were <laughs> smart about it too <laughs> we planned out our deviancy so yeah <laughs> you know i didn't that was a big thing it was more of a thrill not to get caught than to get caught so uh, we wanted to get away with our troubles. So I, I hope that I impressed upon August when he was a kid growing up that, you know, he could make decisions and he could get into trouble. But then, uh, you know, trouble is going to catch up with him. And if I know about it and it breaks the rules or the boundaries, well, there's going to be consequences. Hmm. You know, same thing with, uh, you know, with like lying or something like that is that, you know, the worst thing you can do is is lie because or, or is 
is lie about the lying, you know? I mean, tell me yeah. the truth. If the worst part is that you, you don't, uh, you know, something doesn't live up to something, well, I'll fall short. But if you cover it up, that's worse than a lie right there in my book. So, exactly. you know, and uh, so I think it's been pretty good in that way. And uh, the, the last thing I'll say before we get all weird about this, because it's getting way mm. too serious, but uh, is <laughs> <clears throat> um, this isn't supposed to be like some kind of fatherhood podcast thing going on here. Um, <laughs> it is now. Let me teach you the meaning of life and all that shit. <laughs> uh, oh, thank God. Yeah, well, Ew. there is none. Sorry. Oh, it's raining. But uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I kind of lost my train of thought, which is probably a good thing on the last part. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, you know, he was good. Growing up, I can't complain. He was a good kid. He didn't get into a lot of trouble. He didn't make for a lot of trouble with other people. He didn't start shit with people. Um, I didn't Damn, have to go a... around, you know, making up for stuff. So we, we had our few problems here and there like anybody. Like, you know, maybe hmm. booting a mailbox about 50 feet, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't really as a kid, but, uh, hmm. you know, other than that, uh, pretty carefree compared to a lot of people's kids that I've known or friends I grew up with, uh, you know, and the, I just think also sometimes those people were just dumb. They didn't plan out their bad behavior very well. Whereas hmm. I did, mm-hmm. I think probably August did cause he didn't get caught and then I knew a lot of the tricks. So <laughs> I was gonna say I, I did really, a lot of the stupid yeah. stuff. I don't. I really can't think of like a lot of things that I've done that you don't know about. In all yeah. honesty, I think pretty much that everything I've done. One of them. I honestly can't think of any of them. <laughs> no, I. I mean, I. I can't. Uh, I never snuck out of the house because that would have been really hard to do. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. I, mean, yeah. I don't sleep very deeply, so I'm a pretty light sleeper. <clears throat> and I'm always thinking somebody's going to break into the house. Uh, actually, I do remember one time that uh, this is okay. There is one time I did actually sneak out of the house <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Uh, How did you do it? There was a thunderstorm outside. So I knew I could time it with a thunderstorm with unlocking oh. the, the glass oh. door and sliding oh. the glass door and closing at the same time. And I got to the nice. end and, and I was, I had to You're run away from home or something. I just got really, I don't know what happened. I just got bored one night and I wanted to walk around outside in the middle of the fucking rain. <laughs> oh, well, and, I mean, the I'd have probably said, go ahead. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> all, right, all right, bet. Um, I knew that because what I had to do, I didn't want to go down the hill because I didn't want to slip on my ass and eat shit in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd done that before, hadn't you? Yeah, with the propane tank. That fucking, yeah. Oh, God, that one hurt. Yeah. That was one of the worst experiences. Um, but I knew that when I mm. went around the house and down the other driveway, I had to make it so the motion detector, the motion light didn't go off. So I went right mm. by the chicken coop and I kind of walked my way like pretty close to the chicken coop and around the old driveway. And I walked down the driveway. Mm. All in the, I walked all the way to, down to the end of the street. And I'm like, wow, it's the middle of the night. This is really fucking creepy. I'm going to go back home now. <laughs> I came back that's in another, <laughs> Yeah, that's another reason I didn't think you'd probably venture too far off if you had to walk anyway, because yeah. it's kind of dark and who knows what way out here in the middle of the yeah. woods. Yeah. <clears throat> I did get to the end of the street and then I came back in and mom was awake at that point in time and she saw me and I'm like, I was just standing outside because <laughs> my clothes were <laughs> fucking soaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. But, yeah. <clears throat> My oh god, my god, you're just a terrible kid. We should have put you in juvie, I guess. We should have gotten you therapy or something. Sneaking out like so. that, August? To cry for help. Yeah. How could I? How could I, you know? Oh my god. Yeah, what the fuck, August? Such a rambunctious <laughs> child. Oh, oh my god. Kid. Living life on the edge. Living like Larry. Mm. Dude, nobody can truly live life like Larry. Unless you're Larry <laughs> himself. That's how, that's how I got into Spongebob, though, was because of my dad. So... Oh yeah! Really? That, oh god, yeah. We used to watch. So when he was a kid, uh, after he got to be about a couple years old, a real little mm. kid, because uh, his mom stayed home with him at first. She wasn't working. Uh, she uh. was a stay-at-home mom, and uh, <clears throat> so after a couple of years, you know, she's like, oh, "I got to get some adult time. I got to be around people. Get rid of you know, can't be around this kid. He's a he's a devil child." No, he she never yeah. said that. <laughs> I made all that up in my head when she was talking to me. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> So anyway, she wanted to go out and go back to work in part time and, mm-hmm. and do a little something, you know, meaningful instead of raising a child. No, just kidding. Uh, 
<laughs> like working at a cafe theater thing, you know, because that's more mm. important. But anyway, so she went to work. We had a, a little theater there in town that that uh, had a, a they would show like second run movies, and they had uh, a kitchen, so they'd have and a full bar, so you could have dinner and drinks and all that stuff there, kind of like Smitty's but nicer. Uh, mm -hmm. If you've been to Smitty's, like in Tilton or wherever. <laughs> anyway, um, so she would go to work at about like four o'clock, or no, no, mm -hmm. no, like five probably, uh, because I get off work around five, and uh, I'd stop by where she was working, and usually August would be with her. I'd pick him up, and we'd go home. And of course, I love yeah. cartoons, you know, mostly old cartoons, not a lot of the new ones. But uh, so I had this old black leather recliner, super comfortable spacious it was just awesome mm. and so august and i would sit there side by side in this thing if you can believe it the two of us wow <laughs> imagine the size of the chair would take now but anyway uh, <laughs> so the two of us would sit there and i would turn and we and I, you know, i'm like i don't know what spongebob is but it was like whatever cartoon network or whatever it was on mm. and we would turn that on and we'd watch that every night every night after we'd get home mm. yeah we'd watch spongebob and cat dog and Oh my I don't know, God. Yeah. some Dog. other cartoons, whatever was on for like those two hours, we'd watch that. That's what, when you guys mentioned the, uh, the Spongebob, I think it was your last episode, and yeah. August mentioned Rock Bottom. Oh, yeah, uh, we yeah, I creeped this. him out. I was talking to August uh, during the week about this. I said, it's funny, when I heard that, I had almost the exact same feeling you did while watching it, but I was an adult. Where he was like creeped out by it. Because I'm like, SpongeBob, how are you gonna get home? Get your balloon. How are you gonna get home? <laughs> oh my god, SpongeBob's never gonna get home. <laughs> yeah, it was a really dark yeah. episode. <laughs> was, yeah, yeah it it's pretty creepy. I, I don't even like watching that episode. Really. <laughs> if it comes on, I'm like, no, I'm not watching that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was like, come on, go, go, go find your balloon. Come on, find your way home, SpongeBob. <laughs> yep. Um so but yeah, that was fun. But we, yeah, we used to do that quite a bit. When he was a little kid, it was perfect. We'd do that and watch the cartoons, and then you know, I'd put him to bed or whatever. And, <clears throat> and I'd, oh, thank God he's in bed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> then I would try to escape yeah. the bed. Oh, my God, yes. yes. I, I was yes. an escape artist. That he was. How did you? Okay. August, you yeah. rambunctious child. Like, settle down. Yeah. Would you like to? I I I do remember. I, I really did not like sleeping in that room. I almost like I like almost every night I would try to get up and out of that room. <laughs> yep, yep. Even when he was still in a crib, so he was a little kid, and he was still in a crib, and he would escape his crib. He'd climb out of that crib. I remember we even tied that door shut one time. You're up there banging, like, gong, 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 banging on the damn thing. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> my God. Oh, no, I don't remember kid. that. I must have been too young. Yeah, you were, you were desperately. It was like, like when a dog's trying to get out of a room and they start scratching the shit up. There you were with all your, your little yeah. fingernails scratched off. No, just <laughs> <laughs> Devil child right there. <laughs> Devil I threw child. You a milk, I threw you a milk bone. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Yep, no, he did not like to sleep upstairs in his room, probably because you were the only one upstairs. Yeah, and there was a lot of big rooms empty, up there. Big empty space up there. There was three bedrooms up there, and none of them, you know, he was the only kid. So, you know, we had two other imaginary children. They were really my favorites, but... Uh, you know, wow. August was, August was there, too, Damn. but, you know, you know, you do what you got to do. Sorry, August. As you should. The therapist yeah. said I should tell you that. Yeah. Just kidding. I'm used to it. It's <laughs> okay. Kidding. <laughs> Damn, what's it like being what's it like being third August? If you ain't first, you're last. Third know, it's like Har Harley, AI Craig, you know, the imaginary <laughs> children, and then you know, I like August too. So I'm, <laughs> I'm fifth in the running. I'm not even third anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah, sorry. Well, you made me think about it some more, so I had to rearrange things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've heard of third wheeling. I'm just fifth wheeling now. Exactly. Yeah, I, I'm the the training wheel that no one wants that just gets left behind. <laughs> you have that, that like a slow That's leak weird. in you. That's just that annoying. Always got to fill you up with air, you know. Bingo. Um, I'm gonna put some fix a flat in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yep. Yeah, um, it was it was a wild time growing up for me. Then mm. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I hope I hope you had fun. I mean, it was. We had, uh, it was, it, he was a good kid to be around and, and pretty fun about stuff. I mean, he's a typical kid. I mean, everybody's got their moments, uh, but for the most part, uh, enjoyable. Mm. 
And uh, like I said, he wasn't in any real trouble. So I was happy about that compared to, like I say, friends I grew up with and knew and other people's kids that I kind of knew. And you're like, oh, boy. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh that's boy. Oh, what a pain in the ass that is. <laughs> mm. So. Well, I guess. Wow. More you know. So, learned so much about you. Holy shit. Hmm. Hey, that's what this is for. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Wow. That, didn't like was, uh, I can tell you that. What was his first words? Yeah, what were his first words? I don't know. I think if you ask his mother, because that's more of a thing mom remembers than yeah. dad's. Dad's are like, like, when did he pull your finger first and fart, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> you know, when did he that take kind his of thing. First I mean, that shed. was a proud moment when I was like, pull my finger, August. And then I cranked one out and he laughed. <laughs> and then when he learned to do it, he said, Dad, pull my finger. I was like, oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if you ask his mother, he'll tell you his first word was dad or something like that. She's always, oh, no, he was like dad. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Well, whatever. Dad. <laughs> yeah, whatever. He was probably just had gas. I mean, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Ugh. Oh, wow. You said that there was um, something I was scared of, right? Or there's something oh, I never liked? Oh. I don't remember. Oh. What were like you it. scared of? I mean, I, I never remember. I, I never liked the dark. I know that. Yeah. yeah. But that's pretty, <laughs> still don't. That's pretty that's common. Pretty typical. Yeah. I didn't care for it either when I was a kid either, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was no fun. Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, oh, well. Oh well. I don't remember Aww. him being real troubling. I remember when we went to Boy Scout or not Boy Scout Cub Scout camp, and you're wandering Ooh. around Cub Scout camp mm. in I the middle of the night. I don't remember that myself. What? I don't remember oh, that. Yeah. So the middle you know, of the night. Yeah, so we're in Cub Scout camp, and they kind of have all these like uh, these very rudimentary tents mm. that are up on a platform, so you're not really on the ground, and you have a cot. And basically yeah. for the kids, you know, there's there's me and another person that was like the uh, chaperones there. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, okay, it's mm-hmm. time to go to bed. And, you know, you're not supposed to get up and wander around. And here's August. He gets up in the middle of the night for some reason because the other adult there comes over and tells me about it the next morning. And I, mm-hmm. your son was out of bed and wandering around the campsite. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I had to have a little chit-chat with him. I guess you got bored yeah. and you want to take a walk to the end of the road and get, get rained on or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It all started there. I guess so. It all started started in Boy Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts. I'll never forget that camp because of the really shitty breakfast food. And that's where the obsession of peanut butter started. Oh, oh man. That was our Uh saving grace was peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. You've never had such bad waffles in your life. I mean... They look oh. like normal frozen waffles, you know, the round ones, like an Eggo or oh, some yeah. shit like that. Mm-hmm. And But somehow they managed to heat them up or cook them some way that literally could not cut them without a freaking knife. And even then, it, like oh. the crust part of it, so the outer portion of the thing. The inside wasn't so bad. Uh-huh. But I remember sitting there watching. I think we had a, there was a girl that was there that was helping with the, the various packs and stuff. She, and uh, I'm watching mm-hmm. her cut up this i'm like that's the weirdest thing i ever saw was somebody using a fork and a knife to cut a friggin' waffle <laughs> of course i haven't tried mine yet and she's like yeah, oh yeah, yeah these things are real tough and i'm thinking i didn't say anything and, but i'm thinking well, she's just a wuss whatever <laughs> yeah. and then i go to whatever. cut mine and i'm like this fork will not go through the edge of this waffle i'm like oh Holy shit. It was like the yeah, get... the pancake we found over the weekend, Caleb, that was rock hard. Oh, oh. I'm not, I'm kid you not. It was oh. that hard. It was it wasn't like oh, tough. Yeah. It was hard. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... And then so they had a table off to the side in the cafeteria with loaves of bread, like white bread, and jars mm. of peanut butter. And so, you know, like if they had a meal there that you didn't like, although we made the kids at least try something. We didn't let yeah, them go to the I was an asshole, so we didn't let them go to the <laughs> peanut butter table unless they tried their food first. Yeah. So August, yeah, he he ate chicken parm, which he was yeah. Like, I was going to say that's where I learned nice. to, that's where I learned to like chicken parm. Yeah, because uh, he's like, oh, I don't want to eat it. Over there, over there. <laughs> I'm like, nope, you got to try it. And he tried them. He's like, oh, okay, right. it's not bad. And then, but there were some stuff like the waffle thing that were just awful. You're like, okay, I give up. I'm going right over to the bread. Bread and peanut butter. Bread and yeah. peanut butter. And I would take, it had the little like cups of peanut butter, you know, with the foil top. 
And so I'd grab a couple of those to have during the day too. So you have, a, I'd have a snack. Screw the kids. Nice. Yeah. You know, <laughs> put it Fuck in my pocket. Kids. Hey, if you're hungry. Come on, you can wait. Jeez, what's your problem? <laughs> I'm, <eating stuff here. laughs> I'm an adult. I make the rules, not you. <laughs> yeah, that might have been the adult. clearest slurping sound I've ever heard. I know. Yeah, that was Holy pretty shit. good. That was pretty good. It's like a ten out of ten slurping sound. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Damn. Um, I couldn't help it. That's what she said too. That's what she <laughs> there said. There it is. <laughs> Where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? Oh, I heard it through the wall. Oh, wow. It really, I heard it through really, the wall, but it didn't come through the, the mic. One time it yeah. didn't come through. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dang it. Oh. oh, I have my suppression on. I'm yeah, the noise suppression. Okay. The noise suppression will turn that off. Uh, uh, what she said. There it is. Ah, there we go. There we go. Let's go. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Every day I'm pretty and oh no, <laughs> that's right. Um, the music was good. <laughs> that is one thing I am very proud of. I got my dad into Post Malone and Young yeah, Gravy. Did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good choice. Yeah, there, a lot of stuff. Song? What's that? What's that? The uh, the call out boy. Fall, uh, the oh, oh, oh. German band, the uh, Electric Cowboy. Oh, Electric uh, Cowboy. Yeah, those guys are cool too. I like them. But yeah, I I love Post Malone and and Young Gravy and uh, Baby No Money or Yep. Those mm. guys. Yep. All that stuff. Yep. It, it's fun, but also it it bumps real nice on my system in my car. So mm. I'm like <laughs> a teenage, that. teenager mm. with the car. So couldn't help it. I was in <laughs> yeah. when I was younger. I had a a '64 Volkswagen that was lowered like drag on the ground it was a lot of fun and uh <laughs> and anyway so a buddy of mine worked at a uh a, a high-end custom stereo install place back in the 80s back when all that stuff was kind of started and they sold all the good stuff so alpine and fosgate and any of that blau punk and all that stuff way back in the day and so i got some good prices on stuff so in that volkswagen i took the back seat out of it and i built an enclosure for speakers for subs had two tens and two eights, and then I had a Fosgate punch amp, and I had my Infinity mids and Alpine uh, tweeters and, and an Alpine uh, head unit that was like one of those pull uh, head units. You guys may not be familiar with those, but those are like an anti theft, so you could take the whole radio out of your car. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, that thing would, would just crank and just crank like crazy. So, until of course somebody stole that, and then they stripped everything out of my car, which wasn't a lot of fun. But uh, so anyway, I was visiting them a couple of years ago uh, after my mom had passed away and they let me borrow one of their cars, their truck. And anyway, my buddy's truck, you know, there's this kind of unassuming white Ford pickup, probably mid 2000s Ford F-150. We get in it and the thing's got a system in it. Oh, like, yeah, that was that you, was were, nice. you were there, too. <laughs> that was nice. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, I can't realize how much I miss this. <laughs> we're sitting there driving down the streets of Fresno, bumping the music in there, and everywhere we're driving by, all you can smell is weed everywhere because it's legal mm-hmm. out there. And I don't know, people must burn it in their chimneys or something because we're driving by on a four lane road. It's like, how come it smells like pot everywhere we go? Anyway, <laughs> so that thing was just bumping. And then another time, uh, his son, this guy's son, uh, has this really nice Dodge three quarter ton pickup mm-hmm. with a diesel. And he had a system in that thing, and it really cranked. And so after I got home from those trips out west, I'm like, I'm putting a system in my car. <laughs> As you should. I remember right. playing, yeah. we, we played, uh, I introduced him to the Colt 45 when we were in the truck. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, we were bumping that in the middle of Cali. So yep. Damn, hell yeah. Yep, so all those Dang. things sound really, really good. Yep. In the hell system. Yeah. I experienced it. Yeah. yeah, so lots of fun. some well. things you never grow out of. I love yeah. I love good sound systems. So Heck I'm yeah. going yeah. deaf for it, but that's the way life goes. <laughs> it's it's worth it. It's yeah, worth exactly. it in the end. I'm worth it 100. <clears throat> percent So and I'm glad I went with the 12 inch single sub on this one because it 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 rocks pretty good. Mm. Hell more. yeah! We need more. We need more. <laughs> we we yeah uh, definitely yeah you definitely need more. Totally, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm glad he did. I mean, I wish I could have. I know I August. I like my favorite uh, band is Rush, and I got him to yeah. one concert because that's all we had really. And then of course they they the they quit touring, and I didn't go to the last tour. But I would have liked to have had him experience more of that because they're they're a really fun band, good band, mm. very talented. Uh, I think that was one of my good, first good concerts music. was seeing Rush. Mm. Yep. I, Wow. I mean, and they would put on epic shows. I mean, it was like a three-hour show, and they had no openers. Mm. And there's a bunch of old guys. I mean, they were in their fifties or sixties mm. by this time when he saw them. Because yeah, they're, I think, Getty Lee and I mean Neil Peart. Unfortunately, he died. Back, uh, but Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee. I mean, I think they're like seventy now. And uh, holy and, shit! So they're like fifteen years older than I am. So. Because I'm old, but <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, I've been seeing those guys since the '80s, and I was like, oh, I just got to see these guys. And they came to Manchester, if I remember right. They went to the SNHU Arena or something there, yep. whatever it was called at the time. Yep. And we saw them there. So, unfortunately, yeah. their last tour, they they had a very limited tour, um, and there were reasons for that because at the time Neil Peart was. Uh, he, I think at that time he had just got, he was married, he'd remarried and he had a kid and he was trying to spend more time with his family uh, than he oh. used to. Because those guys, I was just reading the, the book that Getty Lee wrote about himself and the band and stuff. And I'll tell you what, those guys were like nonstop making music and touring. I mean, whether you like them or not, you got to appreciate their work ethic. They were constantly out there humping. And, and, mm. and making it work. You know, they're a Canadian band. They're not U.S. and trying to get airplay in the U.S. and get popular and all that stuff, which, of course, they did. And then to maintain the popularity because their music's not exactly mainstream. So lots of people, you either like them or love them or you hate them. There's not mm. a whole lot of in-between usually not because a lot of people don't like Getty Lee's voice or mm. they don't. The, the music's not straight ahead rock and roll or whatever. You know, so, so you, either you really like them or you usually hate them. But I was reading his book, and I was like, man, this is just amazing, uh, you know, how much work these guys did, and, and how much they drank and smoked pot. It was amazing, too. But uh, that, that came up in his book a lot. <laughs> For, I mean, and they were, always, every time I've seen them, and I've seen them, I don't know how many times, probably a dozen times, they were, as far as any band uh, I've ever seen, I mean, they are my favorite, so I do have my, my inclination to, to favor them. Uh, but uh, they were one of the tightest and most like their album, uh, live band, when they would play uh, live, that I've gone to. I mean, sometimes you see a band live and they're a disaster. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these yeah, guys oh, yeah, went true. up there and worked the whole time. They'd take like a 15-minute intermission in the set, like an hour and a half in. Probably get a mm -hmm. little Geritol in the back there, or whatever they want to call Geritol. And, uh, and then they come out and they finish the show. And like I said, after, I can't remember what year it was, they stopped having uh, uh, openers for them. They just played the whole show themselves. Mm. And Damn. they would have quite an extensive tour till that last one, their 40th year tour. I didn't see it. They only played down in Boston. And at the time, I think that was 2014. Um, you know, I just don't like to get going down to Boston to see shows if I don't have to. And it's a pain in the ass. And the tickets were kind of pricey and, at the time, we had some stuff going on, so it really just wasn't one of those things that, you know, it was kind of a luxury that couldn't do, but, uh, which is a bummer, because mm -hmm. I was like, they were talking about it being their last tour, but I'm like, oh, no, they're going to keep going. They've always kept going. They've always kept going. And mm -hmm. it turns out it was their last tour, and then, of course, Neil Peart died uh, a few years after that, unfortunately, and so that kind of sealed the deal on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. But anyway, that was fun going and having him at least introducing him to that, so the experience that I really enjoy. And yep. being there. I got to see yeah. a lot of interesting bands open for. I saw a Primus open. Oh, for them. that was dang. super cool. Yeah, I had Fuck second yeah. row seats at that concert. It was in Fresno uh, when I was there. We used to, you know, back in the olden days, we'd go to Tower Records when they existed, and we'd buy our tickets at the Ticketmaster in person at a record store. Is where you'd go buy your tickets, or you'd go to the box office. But you would, you didn't do it online because there was no online for one thing. Uh, you could call in on a phone, but uh, that was a pain in the ass. Uh, but you would go overnight. And you would camp out, basically, like you've probably seen in movies or shows or TVs or something like that. And you would wait, hoping to be like the first people in line to buy tickets at wherever the ticket place was. And that's what we did to go to those shows. And the one we got the second row seats, I couldn't, I had to work or something that night. But my friend Dennis, he went 
and sat out there all night and he got us those tickets. And so we had second row. Uh, we were on the right hand side of the stage. And like I said, Primus opened up for him. Because I guess Getty Lee and uh, the bass player for Primus, I can't remember off the top of my head. I guess they were good buddies or they were friends. Anyway, it was a crazy show. I, I really hadn't been into Primus or anything, but watching them was really, it was, it was a funky opener and, and it worked pretty good for those guys. So anyway, yeah, I saw what cool. candle box open for them one time, Mr. Big, mm. some, you know, some interesting names over the years I saw open for those guys, but that was always so much fun. Um, the one year, uh, there was a year there. It was, uh, what was that 1994? Do they remember Dennis and I were hanging out because it was another tour. I can't remember which tour it was in 94, but we wanted to go to the show and I was back out in Fresno. Uh, my, my father had passed away uh, a few months earlier, and I was staying with my mom at the time <clears throat> until we kind of got things squared away because I'd actually moved out east here. I was living in Massachusetts then. Uh, but uh, so anyway, he and I go to this thing. We're hanging out. You know, it's like two in the morning and uh, or no, it was, it was late. It was like six in the morning by this time. It's almost time to buy tickets because I remember the sun was coming up and uh, everybody was pretty much having a good time in line because it was always pretty friendly. This sort of my asshole came up in the line, started trying to cut. And so everybody was pretty much rejecting him and, you know, pushing him out and all this. And he got a little bit, you know, mouthy with some people and stuff. Well, somebody ended up calling the cops. So the cops show up and, oh. and there's these two cops. And one of them was a, a Mexican guy. And I only bring that up because I'll tell you later. Uh, so <laughs> the guy gets out of the car and he immediately, he's like got his eyes focused on me. And I'm sitting there and I really never got into the guy. I just told him, you know, you know, move along. I didn't start nothing. And uh, mm. anyway, so this cop comes like Baker's rushing out and he, he points right at me. He says, you, come over here. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what did I do? I said, I didn't do it. I'm just standing here. He goes, doesn't matter. You get over here right now. And, and I'm like, what? Damn. And I'm like, I'm like, I've just been standing here all night. I said, and all the people around me were like, hey, he didn't do nothing. He didn't. And, uh, and he's like, get over here. And he puts me up against the car, you know, spread my legs, hands on the hood kind of thing. And he's freaking frisking mm. me. And I'm like, what is going on? I said, what the hell did I do? He's like, just shut up. Never mind. And I'm like, wow, this is interesting. Because like I said, I had moved. I didn't even live in Fresno. I'd moved back because my father had passed away and I was helping my mom with some stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what the fuck did I do? And yeah. everybody in line is now yelling at the cops saying, hey, that's not the guy. That's not the guy. It's this guy oh, over yeah. here. And I'm, and, and I'm like, see, I said, see, he goes, just shut up. He says, just stay right here. He gets the other guy who is like really short and looks nothing like me. And I'm like, look, that's the dude. Can I just go now? He's like, nope, you stay right there. I'm like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? Well, the thing was yeah. they had a call for a description and a guy who was wearing blue jeans, which is pretty generic, which I was. And so is he. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a red jacket on and so did he. And I had a red hat on, which so did he. But I'm like a foot taller than him. <laughs> so they thought I was the guy. Well, and then I told my, my, so all that happened. They finally let me go. We did all that stuff. But it was pretty embarrassing. You know, you get pulled out like that. And first, I mean, these guys pulled up bat out of hell. Cop car, patrol car flying into the parking lot like there was like a murder going on or something. I'm like, holy shit, what's going on here? And next thing you know, it's me. But anyway, uh, so my buddy Dennis, uh, his brother, Daryl, uh, knew. Uh, was a good friends with another Fresno policeman, and I remember recounting the story. And I got the had the the officer's name, and I told him, and he talked to this other fellow, this other cop, and he goes, "Oh well, no wonder he screwed with him." I'm like, "What are you talking?" Mm -hmm. He goes, "Oh, that guy hates white people." Oh damn! Oh my god! I'm like, "Oh okay, well at least that kind of explains, you know, why he had such a hard on for me because I'm like, even after he clearly knew that I was not the guy, he did not seem to care to let me go. Yeah. Oh my God. So anyway, another fun story related to a rush show, but uh, <laughs> trying to get yeah. yeah, yeah. So that wasn't any fun. And the worst part was we were standing in line. There was these really cute girls. <laughs> 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 we were talking to, and you know, pretty much after that, that was a real turnoff for them. So yeah, kind of ruined my day and night and morning. So <laughs> <laughs> like, damn you, <laughs> rip. Oh jeez. Yep. yep. So. Fun stuff. Yeah, that oh. seems like fun stuff. Oh. And cow. there's a cow. Oh. And oh. Um, cow ass. Um, ass cow. And, oh, <laughs> now it's staring at Caleb. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's had enough of you. Damn. Oh. Apparently. 
Mm. Well, are there any uh, last minute questions you guys would like to ask? No, I think um, I think I got all the questions I need. I learned lots about you. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Did, did August ever tell you about Red Rocket? Oh, God. What? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> what? What? Red I, Rocket? I, I couldn't like let the, this the go without bringing the Red Rocket story. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. So remember how I told you we had some fun stories whenever we'd go to breakfast? That's where we mm-hmm. have some really, uh, you know, I'd, I'd get creative and, and think of things to talk about that were, you know, uh, you, people might uh, consider strange. Everyone's going to consider this so strange. Um, <laughs> it's, based, it's based on a true story, so it's not that out of the, you know, out of the usual. It's at least based yeah. in reality. So anyway, I was telling him, I was like, hey, you know what? When I was a kid, I was probably like in middle school, like 13. And uh, mm-hmm. I used to go to a friend's place down in this little town in, uh, called Corcoran in Fresno. Yeah. Uh, not in Fresno, in California. Um, th- there was a Supermax prison there, by the way. That's where they held, uh, oh. what's that guy? The crazy guy that killed all those people with the swastika on his forehead. Oh? I can't remember. Uh, what was it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, crazy guy. <laughs> that was just a little aside. Uh, but, uh, oh, Charles Manson. Charlie Manson, that's who it was. He was down in the Corcoran prison. But uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm at my God. friend's house. It was his grandparents' place, uh, uh, grandma's place down there. We would go down there every now and again. This was my, my friend uh, Brent. It was his name, and he had two brothers, younger brothers. We hung out a lot when we were kids and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, did all kinds of stupid stuff that kids do. So, But occasionally, they'd go down to visit grandma, and they'd, they'd ha- invite me, so I would go. I don't think his grandma ever liked me, uh, but I was probably an asshole, so that probably explains that. But no, I don't think she really liked me very much. But anyway, so we're down there, and I'm like standing there in the backyard, and mm. and they had two dogs. One was a a, a collie, and the um. other one was a Saint Bernard. Okay, so the Saint Bernard was a female, and the collie was a male. And dogs being dogs, um, you know, the the male decided, hey, it's my time, man. I'm horned up. I'm gonna come get you. So now, mind you that. Collie's probably two thirds to maybe half the size of that Saint Bernard. So, so anyway, dog mounts him, mounts the other one. She's like, whatever, man, because she was old, and the other dog was like really young. And and you know he's he's doing his business. Next thing you know, I'm looking over there and I'm like, what's going on here? And uh, and and you know, she's decided she's had enough of this. I'm you know I don't need this anymore. I weigh you know like 50 pounds more than he does, so I'm just gonna walk away. So she walks away. Of course, he's still kind of, you know, doing his business. And by this time, uh, you know, I guess the KY must have dried up or something because uh, it was kind of like a Chinese finger toy. I couldn't get it out. So the dog's getting dragged by his uh, pecker. So anyway, so this poor mm-hmm. dog, I can see he's in pain. And and uh, comes from is I have never seen anything so red in my life as that poor dog's penis. It's a, <laughs> and eventually God. and eventually that dog got turned around so the his penis was actually going backwards and still stuck in the St. Bernard and she's still dragging him around the yard backwards and, and it just it wouldn't come out and I'm like I'm watching that and it's like I feel your pain dog I really do feel your pain and that thing was so bright red it could have glowed like it was iron that was 1200 degrees that's why I felt that way. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's the red oh rocket. My God. Now you know Jesus the red rocket. Christ. And I, I had to share that with August because that was an experience, you know, that I had that I thought I should share as a father to to my son. You know, on our way to breakfast. Because I thought it'd be appetizing. That's a way so to he was, he was quite disgusted the entire way down. So that was my challenge. Anytime we'd either be going to breakfast or coming home from breakfast to see just how much I could gross out my son. Because <laughs> usually it's the other way around. Like the kids are trying to gross out the adults, but no, I'm tends to be me. And it worked. Almost there was probably uh, many other stories. Oh. I can't remember because I'm old, but August probably has a few that... gross and disgusting things I've thought of. That one, that one will always stick in my head just because of how often I'm reminded of it. Is it duck? Oh, oh God! Chinese finger toy? Oh no! <laughs> but that's all I could think of when I saw that. I'm like, it, it's like a welding arc or an accident or something on the highway. You can't not look at it. You're like, 
Oh, wow. Look, oh, Jesus. Look, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. And that poor, I mean, you could just, that poor dog was like, like, like crying because that, that big ass St. Bernard was just, she's just lumbering along walking. And that poor dog is just like, oh, my dick is stuck in her and I can't get it out. God. <laughs> pulling on it backwards. <laughs> Oh my God! You know, so if you can imagine somebody like grabbing onto your your pecker and just pulling you around by it, and you don't want to be pulled around. That's that's what it felt like, probably. I think that's something Noah would be into. Yeah, well, totally. I mean, hey, if that works yeah, for you, brother, totally. Yeah, more power to you. I, yeah, I can see it. Oh like God! Like the, the the lubeless hand job then for you, I guess. Oh, <laughs> that's a sandpaper handy. I was gonna say you're gonna get a handful of sand. <laughs> Handful of sand. <laughs> I, I'm not spitting on that. I'm going to throw a handful of sand on that. Oh God. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, now you know. now you guys know the rest of the story, and you can get a red <laughs> yeah. rocket. And now you know. And anytime you're around, uh, you know, I'll mention red rocket, and you'll immediately think <laughs> of this poor dog with his penis stuck in another dog getting oh, dragged God. around, and it's super bright red. And you know, oh. or anytime you see anything glowing bright red, you're going to think of oh, a God. dog's penis stuck in another dog. I've planted that thought and memory in your head now, and it, it's never going away. Just like August, I oh, cursed, gosh. cursed him, and I'm a, I'm, I'm proud of that. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, that'll um, never, that'll never leave my head as much as I'd like it to. <laughs> my only hope someday is that you know he'll have kids and he'll he'll spread the story with them. Mm. The legacy will live on. Oh man, <laughs> your grandfather used to blah blah blah. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. This story about a dog. Pretty much ever since the moment I turned eighteen is when I really started learning all of this. Because at that point in time, you, you, I was, you could just tell me all that stuff. Before then, oh, yeah, it no. was pretty PG. Yep. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I really enjoyed when August became an adult and came into adulthood and in, in college because I could be much more open and frank and express more of my sense of humor with him, which I pretty much thought he'd enjoy, but I'm pretty sure it just grosses him out a lot. Mm. It's just the, one of those things you never expect your parents to tell you about, and then you hear it, yeah. and you're like, I never expected this in life, and now I'm hearing it, and I don't know how to react to it anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should see what my friends had to put up with me growing up. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, yeah. Yeah, oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Bathroom humor, <laughs> fart jokes, dick jokes. I mean, it's... Mm. About all I know. You all know what? Fair. Horrible stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But everybody laughs is what I always say. Hey, you all are laughing at it, so you must like exactly. it. Exactly. As yeah. long as people are laughing, that's all that matters. I'm just saying the things that other people are thinking. Exactly. So dirty everybody jokes, else is guilty, too. Dirty jokes and being gross, right? That's right. Stupid jokes <laughs> and being gross. Stupid jokes and being nice. gross, my bad. That's me. Yep. Well, um, I think uh, I think we're gonna call the episode there. Well, well um, we're ended we're on Red Rocket. There. Red <laughs> Rocket. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I gotta, I gotta do my thing. Oh yeah, the hockey. Are we player. doing that, or is that well, gonna yeah, be too we, long? Not, you know, I'm gonna guess it first try. Just you wait. Three, you're gonna guess three teams first try. First try. Oh, Are boy. you sure? Hell yeah. As long as it doesn't I mean, involve have... geography, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or spelling. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caleb, give oh, it to God. me. Give this to okay. me. The, the man of the day is Dougie Murray or Douglas Murray. Douglas Murray. Ah, yes. I totally yeah. know who that is. Okay. First try. I'm going <laughs> to guess. Um, He's been on three teams, he said. He's been on three teams. Is he like really good? No. <laughs> just pick the bottom of the no, barrel player. <laughs> yeah, say, nobody's ever heard drafted. of him, but now he's yeah, good. Yeah, he was drafted in the eighth round, which doesn't exist anymore. Oh my god. Was he like a okay. But um, he was fine. He was like a good player, but not like, you know. Okay. Mark so, Messier or whatever. Yeah, Mark Messier, the uh, yeah, that guy. Woo. <laughs> yeah, that okay, guy. Okay, this man. This man, I'm feeling like he's played. It's definitely not the St. Louis Blues. Definitely not. No. Definitely not. Okay, but I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of teams here. Um, doesn't seem like he's a Boston Bruin guy. 
He is not. Good. Um, I just one. Uh, did he play for any Canadian teams? He played for one Canadian team. Okay, one Canadian team. Um, I think he played. My first guess. It's going to be correct. The the Maple Leafs. Honestly, I'm feeling he played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh my god, that's really? wrong. <laughs> Man, so anyway, just got you this has been the snooze <laughs> cat. <laughs> but, that's, uh, the, that's it. Uh, the Canadians. <gasps> oh my god, that's actually right. Oh wait, seriously? Yeah, it's the what? last team he what? played with. Okay, twenty fourteen. Um, okay, first try. Let's cut that other part out. No. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> um, I'm feeling though. I'm feeling that. Um, and. I'm feeling like this guy. What was his name again? Doug Murphy or something? <laughs> yeah, Doug Doug Murray. Murray, Murray. I feel like he's a he's not anywhere in the East Coast. Can I say? That's up to you entirely. Yeah, that's up to you. Uh one of the one of the teams you played on was East Coast. No, you're wrong. Other than the Canadians. Um, then it's, if it's an East Coast, it's the Philadelphia Flyers. No, but same state. Oh, shit, man. What's <laughs> it's state? geography. Geography's getting you. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Then one more team. Team oh, is drafted shit. by. You know. Hmm. West Coast team. Um... West Coast team. What's a West Coast team? Uh, a team along the West Coast. You know, those states uh, over there. I'm thinking like the <laughs> LA Kings. No, same state though. Fuck, man. I'm does giving no, more help today. Does no one know what state LA is in? Oh, yeah, California. <laughs> I just had to make sure, you know, St. Louis, you know, didn't know it was in Missouri. Okay, <laughs> okay. Missouri is not like a, a like a big major state, except for, yeah, whatever, St. Louis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and Kansas City, it's like about it. Yeah, it's fucking it. Um, what the fuck, <laughs> California? Uh, I can think of San Diego, San Francisco. Uh, fuck, fuck. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Another San. Yeah, there is another San. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh say, can you see? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> America. Oh, no. He oh, my God, yeah. Hand. He missed the hand. <laughs> uh, I just laid it out there. I teed it up. Oh, say, can you see? We're going to miss. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. uh, um, I'm done. Oh my god! Avalanche in in California. Am I giving too many hints? What what team? Uh, I don't think so. Well, avalanche, sorry. the Avalanche. He's definitely played for the Avalanche. Colorado Avalanche from California. Yeah, Colorado. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Colorado, man. California. What's the difference? Or, you know, yeah, same place. Yeah, they got mountains and shit. And wait, so team. wait, is the team in Colorado or California? <laughs> no, it, no, it's in California. <laughs> um, oh, Satan, <laughs> you see? No, I, I meant to give him a hint. I think I really threw him off. There. Yeah, he threw him. <laughs> yeah. Um, somehow, somehow. Oh, oh my. Uh, I got this. My next guess is going to be correct. The um, Blue Jackets. <laughs> Oh, yep, I jacket. think so. The blue jackets are coming. The blue jackets are coming. <laughs> Red jackets? <laughs> One if by sea, two if by land. Oh, oh. Man, the blue jackets from Ohio. They're from Ohio? Yeah, they're from Columbus. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't know that. We're really Buffalo, moving to the East Coast again. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, um, fuck, da, 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 da. Is... No, Jeez. the other one. The, the the wild is in Arizona. No, it's not. That's Minnesota, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Minnesota. <laughs> oh 
this a, a, a... I feel like you've never guessed this team. Before. He definitely has not. I don't think he knows uh, that this team like exists. Ever. Seeing how we uh, we gave him the or my dad gave him the actual name of the uh, city. Wait, what? City. And I gave and him he, the uh, mascot as it, well. It's true. He did he, give the mascot. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. I said it's another stand place, and then I said, "Jose, can you see?" And then I said, um, dun, 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 Oh, Jaws. Yeah. What was Jaws? <laughs> a movie. No, no, no. What was the animal? Jaws. The, Calif- was Jaws? the 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 oh. the 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 oh. Californian Jaws. Chomp, chomp, man. chomp, chomp. What kind of an animal was Jaws? Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, I mean, he's a shark. Oh, I don't think that's, that's oh. a team name. Oh, look at that. The sharks. I, I, I feel like I have Sand. to give it to you. Like, yeah. I... Say, can you see? <laughs> oh, um, the Californian sharks. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the Bay Area. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, south yeah, of San yeah. Francisco. West San Francisco Sharks. <laughs> Didn't he say South? There, but he said West. There is, there is, just go. But that's not it. Uh, There's Santa, Santa Clara. Do I have the uh, San Jose Sharks? Oh my Boom. God! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Man, there's even more torture when you're on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of weird that there's a team in San Jose, but it's cool. There's a team in. Okay, I yep. did not know that. Okay. The more you Anaheim. know. There also used to be a team called the California Golden Seals. I knew that. Really? Nope. No, he didn't. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> you are um, a Yep. Wow. That was fucking insane. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, that's Dougie Murray. Dougie Murray. The, the legend. Famous, the legend, Dougie Murray. <laughs> legend we've never heard of. The yeah. legend, the myth, Not the legend. Not many people probably have. Probably not. Yeah. That's like me um, asking, who was the first drummer of Rush? Ooh. <laughs> that was like Noah asking who the cook was before uh, SpongeBob. There you go. Yeah. I, that one, that one exactly. baffled me, too, when I listened to that. Yeah. John Rutsey, it's... by the way, just so I don't leave people hanging. I don't want to be edging you again. Oh, thank like God. I did with the other story, you know, well, <laughs> that I we'll can't tell. That, true. We'll get that other story out of August or you one of these days. <laughs> you'll, but... you'll get it one day. You'll never get it out I of promised me. him I wouldn't. <laughs> <you'll> <laughs> get... I Might promised him be... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't bring it up. Might not be next episode or the episode after that, but one of these episodes. That's right. We'll wear we'll them down. Don't you. you worry. Oh mm. yeah, we'll we'll get them. We'll You'll get never take me alive. You'll never take me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, yeah, that was a good episode, y'all. Uh, thanks again for August Dad for joining us today. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with. Joe Rogan and AI Craig. <laughs> yep. They're definitely here right now. They Man, just been it's really such quiet. such an experience. You don't know how much I was looking forward to meeting both of them. And it, you know, it didn't seem like yeah. it happened, but it happened. You know, it was, it Today was, great. was the day. Today was, was the you day. You guys are okay too. You know, you guys really aren't half bad. Oh, well, thanks. We appreciate <laughs> it. Oh it my God. might be like, like, you know, in that whole hierarchy underneath Harley and then, you know, August. There and, <laughs> You're yeah. so above you me. guys are like right there chomping on the door. We're there. somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Close, man. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it's okay. What, what did we learn today, guys? What did we learn today? This is all stuff A that I already knew. August. <laughs> <laughs> learned, we learned that August was a pussy. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> wow. Okay, no, I'm going to fight you next time I see you. <laughs> that's going to stay. No, you have to shit in my pants. That's what you have that's to do. That's right. I do have that's to shit exactly in your pants. It. You can exert your dominance by shit in exactly. your pants. Exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. Well, it's a mess in yours. It ain't, it ain't exactly. gay, bro. We got socks on. Too many socks. I don't. Mm. Oh. What? Um. That's right. And the episode. Uh, Caleb, <laughs> um, well, everybody, thanks for watching. No. What? Nothing. No, please. You no. do it. <laughs> no, no. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And thanks stay for snooty. watching and stay snooty. Huh? Take care. Bye bye.